check out this trailer mod where I'll show you how to attach your solar panels to your rig magnetically. But first, watch our great intro clip and I'll be right back with all the details. So let's talk solar. Now if you're like us, uh, we don't spend a ton of time uh, when we're camping disconnected from power, but there are some weeks during the summer that we actually rely on solar power for recharging our two 6 volt batteries. And so what I chose to do with this trailer uh, is to create a temporary magnetically mounted solar panels. And so you can see from this clip here where I'm installing them. Uh, I have four 100 watt panels and I've glued with silicone adhesive uh, magnets on the roof of the trailer and then all I do is when I need the solar panels I throw them up on the roof, plug them in together and we have solar power. Now the advantage to this is for the other 50 weeks of the year that the trailer is being used or is being stored I don't have the solar panels up on the roof and I don't have to worry about them wearing out or getting excessive heat on the roof or a number of other issues. And so the only time they're up there is when they're being used and I don't travel with the, the solar panels on the roof. Just to be clear, they're magnetically held in place and they're quite strong. They've withstood quite a bit of wind uh, while we've been camping, but uh, they don't stay up there when we're traveling. So what I did to modify the trailer, it does come with this solar input connector here. And the way the trailer comes is the connector is connected directly to the battery. And so what I did was inside here, I modified the wiring. So instead of it going directly to the battery, it goes into the solar controller. And so you can see the solar controller mounted up on the wall there. And um, when the solar panels are plugged into this outside connector, then of course the solar panel controller is connected to the 12 volt battery system. As you can see in this install video, one of the obvious disadvantages of this system is that you actually have to climb up on the roof in order to install the panels and to remove the panels. And it's also helpful to have a helper that can pass the panels up to you. For the electrical connection, I connect the panels in series to give me the maximum voltage and the lowest current. And in general, this is your best type of connection, but that of course assumes that your controller can handle both the voltage level and the current level of your solar panels. I've glued little pieces of foam on the bottom of the solar panel to provide some spacing for airflow. And you can see the magnets glued to the roof of the trailer. A very simple system of nuts and bolts are attached to the existing holes in the solar panels. You could actually use bolts with flat tops on them, but uh, with the rounded tops they're already plenty strong enough. The pros to this type of system is that you only mount your solar panels when needed. You don't have to screw through your trailer roof. You can take your solar panels with you if you sell your trailer. No damage to your trailer's roof from the heating effect of the black solar panels mounted directly to the roof. Cons of this system is that you have to climb onto the roof each time you're going to set your panels up or take them down. And there's additional wear and tear on the panels themselves as you're lifting them up and setting them in place and storing them and uh, transporting them. So thanks for stopping by and hopefully this has given you a few new ideas about how to mount your solar panels. I'll post some links below for the products that I've used in this project and post your comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What do you think? That's all. Bye for now.